Early developmental milestones are high yield for the USMLE. Although you may not see a lot of these questions on your exam, you're guaranteed at least one or two, which are easy points if you can get some basics down. A typical question will give a presentation of a child and ask whether the milestones are appropriate for its age group. You will be asked to determine a child's development in categories such as motor, social, and verbal cognitive skills. This is going to be good practice for your pediatric rotation as parents are always worried that their child is developing inappropriately for their age. Motor milestones in the infant age group include the child abandoning the primitive reflexes which they are innately born with. First up we have the Moro reflex, which disappears by three months. The Moro reflex is seen when you pull an infant up slightly and then release them. They first spread their arms, then pull the arms in as if reaching out for something. This is usually accompanied by some crying. Similarly, the rooting reflex, which is a reflex to help babies find their mother's nipple, will disappear around four months. You can see this reflex by stroking the cheek or mouth, which causes the baby to orient towards the side of the face that was touched. The palmer reflex is one of the most popular. It is seen when you touch the palm of a baby's hand with your finger and they close their hand around the finger. This reflex disappears around six months. Lastly, the Babinski reflex disappears around 12 months. And yes, this is the same sort of Babinski sign that one sees in patients with upper motor neuron lesions. Do you remember which way the toes go in patients with upper motor neuron lesions? An upward motion of the toes is a positive Babinski reflex. Other motor milestones are also starting to appear. At one month, a baby can lift its head in the prone position. At six months, a baby will roll over and sit. And at eight months, the baby will start to crawl. At nine to ten months, the baby develops a pincer grasp. One way to remember this is with the memory tool that if you pinch your index finger and thumb together and point the rest of the fingers down, it looks like the number nine. Around nine to 10 months, babies also begin to stand, and around one year, the babies start to walk, although this can take up to 18 months. One tool to remember this is by thinking about the number one as though it is the baby standing up to get ready to walk. Social and cognitive milestones in the infant age group include smiling at two months, and developing stranger anxiety after six months, followed by separation anxiety around nine months. At four months, a baby can orient to voice, but at what age does a baby orient to its own name? This happens around nine months of age. Also around nine months, a baby develops object permanence, where babies understand that an object taken out of sight does not mean that it ceases to exist. About a month later, babies start saying mama and dada. At this age, around one year old, they can say single words. So remember the number one, but they can't put multiple words together yet. As you may have experienced, a child entering the toddler age group behaves very differently. At one year, a toddler engages in parallel play. At about two years, a toddler also displays reproachment, during which a toddler will move away from the caregiver only to return for reassurance. At three years, toddlers start having friends and engaging in cooperative play, as well as freedom, in that they can spend part of the day away from the caregiver. Around this age, it is thought that they also develop a core gender identity. At four years, toddlers can begin to have imaginary friends. As far as motor and verbal milestones, at 24 months, toddlers can kick balls around and have about a 50-word vocabulary. They can also use two-word phrases such as, my ball. By three years, they are scooting around on tricycles, 
and their vocabulary has expanded to about 1,000 words. At three, they can also use three-word phrases like, I want ball. At four years, kids are able to tell detailed stories. Another important thing to remember is the rule for determining how many cubes a child should be able to stack. A developmentally normal child should be able to stack their age in years times three. For example, a two-year-old should be able to stack six blocks, or two times three equals six. What else should a two-year-old be able to do? Kick a ball, have a 50-plus word vocabulary, and wonder from the caregiver briefly. What are some things a three-year-old should be able to do? At three years old, a child should play with friends in cooperative play, speak in complete sentences, copy a simple shape, and ride a tricycle. Flash quiz. At what age does the Moro reflex disappear? The moral reflex disappears at three months old. Let's test ourselves. A mother brings in her eight-month-old daughter to the pediatrician's office because she is worried about her child not developing at the same rate as the other children at daycare. When the physician picks up and holds the child, she begins to cry vigorously. She is placed on the table and is able to sit upright on her own and repeatedly tries to stand up. When the child is given a pen light to play with, she can pass it from her left hand to her right hand, but is unable to pinch the object between her index and middle fingers. During the examination, the baby coos and occasionally yells the word dada with a smile on her face. What is the appropriate report for the physician to give to mom? The answer is E. Reassure mom the child is developing normally. Developmental milestones are a huge part of being a pediatrician because parents always want to be reassured that their child is developing at the appropriate speed for their age. The USMLE likes to trick students in this respect because as future physicians, it is very difficult to tell a patient, or even worse, a patient's parents, that everything is okay. The child in the vignette is eight months old and is already experiencing separation anxiety, able to sit on their own, and even attempts to stand on their own. She is unable to do the pincer grasp, which is normal, since this is typically achieved at 10 months of age, as well as utter the phrase dada, which is a verbal milestone also achieved at 10 months. Not only should this pediatrician tell mom that her child is functioning normally, but is reaching milestones faster than average ages. Fun fact. Do you know why babies are more likely to say dada before they say mama? It's because the motor control of the posterior oropharynx and tongue is achieved earlier than the anterior tongue and lips. Dada is a sound produced using the tongue, whereas mama is made by using the lips to create the M sound. Mothers might get jealous and think the kid favors dad, but we know the truth. Thanks for watching and be sure to click thumbs up if you enjoyed this video.